Ladies and gentlemen, now my first guest tonight is a winner of two Emmy Awards for his role as Detective Andy Sipowitz on NYPD Blue. And last week he was nominated again for the fourth time. Please welcome Dennis Franz. <laughs> Good to be here again, you bet. Nice to have you with us, and uh, congratulations, you got another Emmy nomination. Yes, thank you, yeah. This is exciting. It is great, yeah, the, the nominations are uh, uh, an award in itself, and they're, uh, they, don't, uh, they don't get any tougher. I'll tell you what gets tough is the acceptance speeches. It's, uh, it's That's real hard rough. for you? Well, it's rough to get out there, and, and they give you 30 seconds to thank everybody you worked with in the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, last year, I ended up... Uh, giving Jimmy Smith's a big build-up and how I love coming to work with this guy, and he's just the greatest. And then I said, and, uh, so I want to thank Steve. And I called him Steve. <laughs> did you, and then, uh, the first did you year, go insane for a second? I mean, why well, you... I felt embarrassed. I mean, I look out and there's Jimmy. He says, oh, he's, I know who you mean. Okay, great. Uh -huh. And the first year, I forgot all about the cast. So, uh, yeah, that gets tough. That's, that's not Did you ever get tempted just to say, I want to thank only myself for yeah, this me incredible me honor? It was right. I that did this I and I alone. Yeah. I think people would love it if someone got up there. Or Maybe, I'd ever win an award, which could never... our future. In the year yeah. 2000. In the year 2000. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, in the year 2000. Yeah. That's what will happen. The, um, you guys do, on your show, you guys do a lot of action scenes. We do. Is, is that, uh, do you enjoy doing the action scenes? Do you like, uh, that would be a part of the job I would think would be kind of fun. I would have to say that I think our writers get some sort of an evil thrill out of uh, watching me try to chase Jimmy down the streets. Because this, this guy, he, it's like chasing a giraffe. He's, got, he's very tight. He's got long legs, as you probably have. And he kind of lopes along. And I'm, I'm, I'm just scooting <laughs> along trying to keep up with this guy. And he's just taking it nice and easy. And I think they enjoy uh -huh. that, so they write more and more of these chase scenes. They also seem to enjoy me trying to handcuff somebody. That's not an easy thing to it's do. It's not so easy to do. they write a lot of Sipwitz handcuffs. This guy said, come on, guys. Can't Simone handcuff a couple? I'll tell you something. I use handcuffs <clears throat> a lot. They're not that Yeah, hard. yeah. I'll tell you right now. It takes a little while to figure it out. <laughs> Them Italian yeah. restaurants. What's yeah. that? Is that not the way they think? <laughs> right. I just really just play with them. Cool. Uh, do you? Yeah. Uh, but that is hard. You got to. In those scenes, you got to like tear down the street. And, and well, yeah. And I. And you know, it comes to a time. I thought I, maybe I should make an attempt to get in shape. Maybe I should work out a little bit because I. Uh, my my enjoyment of my my idea of working out is on the golf course, and that's getting in and out of a golf cart, and that's not much of an exercise. <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, yeah. So one time I thought, okay, I, I should really make an honest effort at, at trying to get in shape. So I, I went upstairs, I put on some jogging clothes and a sweatsuit and the whole thing, and I, and I stretch, and I do these stretching, and I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to go out, I'm going to jog a little bit. I got maybe three houses down the street. I, oh, man, I sat on the curb, and I'm huffing and puffing. I, I am so out of shape. And you're sitting on the curb, and you're like, hey, I Dunkin' Donuts. And I like, that's it. That's the answer. That's the pie in the sky. Did, uh, so now you wear, let me guess, now you wear the jogging suit and the sneakers while you're watching TV and you're smoking Continuously, a cigarette. Continuously, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Good I workout. Love, when, you, yeah. when you walk around New York sometimes, you see guys like on a park bench smoking. They yeah, got the workout working out. suit on. That's yeah. A, yeah, that's a good workout. Yeah. Eating a giant piece of pie. Right. Uh, right. But uh, did you actually, I, that time that you did that nude scene, did you feel like, I got to get in shape for this or I got to do something any different? Uh, that, was the, uh, that was the attempt that I tried to make. You know, I thought, well, maybe I'll... Uh, my, my idea of getting into shape is uh, uh, maybe just eating two donuts for breakfast. <laughs> just instead two. Of, instead of four or five, yeah. That's, that's what yeah. the supermodels do. Yeah. I'll stop yeah. at two giant chocolate donuts. Yeah. I won't no, go I, any further than that. I really, I really, uh, I can't make myself get motivated by that, you know. Even they, they let you know far enough in advance that, uh, that they give you an opportunity to, to work at it if you'd like to, but... Uh, uh, I just can't seem to discipline Well, I've also noticed when I watch things like Entertainment Tonight, which mm -hmm. I do all the time because oh, it's yeah. such good TV, and, uh, <laughs> hello, and, uh, I, you know, one of the things they always say is uh, Nicolas Cage got himself in incredible shape for this movie, mm -hmm. and you think, wow, how did he do that? And then they point out, he trained for six hours a day 
five days a week for, you know, and you think that's part of his job is to get in great shape. I just worked with Nick, as a matter of fact. I, um, I just finished a movie called City of Angels with uh, he and Meg Ryan and Andre Brower. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy is in terrific shape, and he brings... Um, he, he's got a whole truckload of work, uh, workout equipment and a trainer that, that he brings with him on the set every day. And uh, they pull up this big thing. He's in there for about an hour and a half, two hours in the His morning. His whole gym is in the back of a truck he, he, and it follows got him this everywhere? enormous gym. I swear, this is not that an That is so great. Isn't that that is so set? cool. That's you go out to dinner at night is. to an Italian restaurant, you're done, your truck pulls up. Yeah. yeah. You get in and wooga, yeah. wooga. That would be very cool, I would yeah. think. You know, so you don't exactly think you... what I'm after. Right? <laughs> what you want? No. You want that donut truck? Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. lie to me. The um, you, your career started in kind of an unexpected way, didn't it? You didn't when, when you were uh, a young uh, a young whippersnapper. Mm -hmm. You thought you wanted to get into sports. So so how did you get into acting? I thought that's where I was going. I really enjoyed um, uh, competitive sports, and and I was going out with a girl who was trying out for a play. Uh, I didn't, uh, this was our junior year in high school, I really didn't even know they, they had a theater department there. And uh, I went to the auditions with her, and I, and I saw the other guys trying out, and uh, uh, they were kind of meek and, and uh, quiet, and you know, I could hardly hear them. And uh, when I was a, a younger boy, before my voice had changed, I used to like to walk around the house singing, and I, and I had this high voice, and I'd sing, and I drove my dad crazy, you know, I'd hear the voice, and I'd, oh, please, son, will you try harder, get a lower voice, or else be loud, you know. <laughs> And, and that was his way of telling uh -huh. me to get a deeper voice, was to be loud. So his, so I saw these guys trying out, and I got involved in the competitiveness of it, and I raised my hand, I said, could I try this, you know? And uh, so I remember my father's words, be loud. So I went up, and I just basically was loud. Mm -hmm. And, uh, was your voice still high at leads. that point? Was it? No, it had changed by oh, then. Oh, I thought this was like, yeah. and I got the role of Mickey Mouse. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out, that's goofy! <laughs> you know, yeah. You're a very good young man. Yeah. No, I, uh... At least your voice changed when you were a boy. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> wow. Mine happened. Wow. Mine... <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Mine changed the first season of this show, <laughs> like halfway through. I was there. Yeah. 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 Remember that? Yes, yeah. Let me ask you something, De Dennis. Yeah. Hey! Oh, audience. Wow, Yay! what a rude awakening. Yeah. yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> All right, uh... <laughs> Well, we have to wish you the uh, best of luck at the uh, at the Emmys. Thank that's, you. Very uh, much. That's very exciting. We hope yeah. you bring back another one. And uh, best of luck at uh, NYPD Blue, which is on ABC Tuesdays at 10 o'clock. Dennis, it's always really Thank nice you. to have you here. Thank You're a very you. nice Good guy. Dennis Franz, everyone. Scott Thompson's coming up. We'll be right back.